and your name is? My name is Tracy. Hi, Tracy. What would you like Jesus to do for you today? To pray for myself and my husband. <clears throat> We've been, uh, he's not doing too well. Um, I've been physically attacked um, through dreams this week. So the enemy has been attacking me in my um, health. So what does this sound like? Just like we were talking about today. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You Jesus will take care of this, Tracy. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father, we release mm -hmm. your fire into Tracy Jesus, and her yes. husband. Overtake the enemy, Father. Mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Yes. We bind these spirits. Mm -hmm. We bind their weapons. We bind yes. their hiding places. Fire is rising name. in your belly, Tracy. We yes. command them out of our lives. We yes. And their shackles off of our feet. We turn our families back yes. to God. God. We pray Jesus for her name. husband, Father. Overtake Jesus everywhere. The enemy has imprinted name. their lives and their, marriage and their marriage and their children. We yes. give them all the glory. We command yes. sickness out in Jesus. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' beautiful name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. What do you sense God is doing, Tracy? That's lifting up the spirit. There's fire yeah. on the floor of your Boom, that's... Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You, Father. Do you Thank have you children? Mother. Expecting. Father, bless this child. Thank you, Lord. So I'm just seeing a lot of pressure around your husband's head in the spirit realm. Well, Father, we overcome that. We command that weapon out right now. In yes, Jesus in Jesus' name. name. Every pressure okay. remove in Jesus' name. Thank you, My Jesus. God. There's Thank something Jesus. moving around in his spine. The Lord is removing yes. as well. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank you, Father. And tell your husband we prayed for him, Tracy. God Amen. bless you for standing in the gap for your husband. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Praise we'll God. So. Praise God. Love. Danette, how you doing? Good morning. Hi. Good morning. I'm doing good. Um, I'm just praying for just continued strength to stay in the word. I feel the attacks coming against me as I'm praying. Uh, intercessory prayers for them mm. and um, I just want to stay strong and stay committed That's as fun. I pray for them but I'm feeling the attacks on me amen so sometimes when we pray for people when we get stronger in the Lord we can actually feel sense what's going around in the spirit realm which is yeah. exactly what's going on with you armor on shields up shields up Amen. so father we thank you we Amen. decree and declare a hedge of protection around every intercessor the weapons they can form but you're not going to prosper father we ask for a wind of protection that removes and bounces these enemies off but father as for each of us we want it out of our lives out of our families Amen. out of our homes and we are asking you for a divine protection. We ask you to lift up a standard around each one of us, Father, oh, of yes, protection. Because we're going forth different. And now you have given us knowledge, Father, how to spot these enemies, how to defend ourselves and our families. In Jesus' name, we give you all the glory. Amen? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Would you like prayer for? My arm. My arm has to totally heal. Amen. Like it's been giving me trouble. Shoulder, neck, arm, Ready. spine. You believe? Father, we release every tension that happened during the injury. We command all trauma out from the injury. We command all the pain out. We have a covenant of healing and we are standing on our covenant for Priscilla's healing. We give you all the glory, Father, in Jesus' beautiful name. Lift your arm up, Priscilla. Glory to God. Any pain? No pain. No pain. What do you want to say to Jesus? Thank you, Father. So, Thank you, Lord. So the trauma you, entered Lord. during the injury. It had to go in Jesus' name. Amen? What would you like Amen. to do for Amen. you? Amen. <laughs> um. First, I would, like, I would like to praise God for, yeah, my mom, she's healed. She, she, her back is healed. And I've told her, you told me to let them know that you're praying for them. And I've told them and they thank you and they praise God. And they pray the Lord to bless you and repay you for that. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, I would like prayer for my friend, Sophia. Yeah, the Lord to lead her in the right way and to deliver her. Father, lift Sophia up to you. We lift her life to you, Father. We thank you that you surround her with your waves of glory.
that she receives the opportunity to know the real from the counterfeit. Thank you for your blood. Father, we ask that you find a way into Sophia's heart because I believe there's already an opening there. I believe that she is actually really in need of a loving savior and he has just met her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Father, overtake every issue, every problem, everything that presents itself as bigger than you and knock it to the ground with your shepherd's staff in Jesus' Amen. name. Thank you for Sophia's life. Thank you for Sebastian as a light in the darkness, in the area that you have placed him in. Father, Amen. anoint Sebastian. You have such a call on his life. The enemy Amen. has tried so hard to make him believe just the opposite. Father, thank you for everything. We put everything under your feet. And Sebastian, in heaven with you, dwelling with you now in the spirit realm. Amen. Father, make his spiritual life deeper in you. Amen. Take everything on the outside, Father, and use him mightily in Jesus' beautiful Jesus name. Jesus' mighty name, amen. And tell your dad what today was about, because we're going to keep our pastors and our men lifted up. Amen. amen. I will. God bless. You. Thank you again. God bless. You're very welcome. Glory to God. And so, yeah, I've got some really bad problems and it's, it's really difficult to stand. And um, so I'm believing the Lord to uh, just even reveal what the problem is so we can really um, nail it. Um, but I really want to ask the Lord to grow me in the anointing and in the gifts of the Spirit. Believe mm -hmm. Jesus will do it? Yes. Father, we release your fire into Jen. Thank you that you answer her prayers, that you have heard her cries. This sickness that has been plaguing your life, starting when you were a little girl, there was a belief, a lie that you believed, and the Lord is overtaking it right now. And he is removing this actually from your chromosomes in Jesus name. Father, remove the enemy's locks on the chromosomes in Jesus name. Jesus. Healing, healing, healing all. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Fire, Father, on all infirmity. Father, I cancel every single plan of the enemy in her life. You are done. In Jesus' beautiful name, you're going to feel serious fire coming up in you. The Lord is anointing you. He is activating your giftings in Jesus' name. I feel that it's getting Thank really you, Lord. hot. Lord, it's going to get a lot hotter, Jen. Thank you, Jesus. Overtake oh, all. Today is your day, Jen. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, God is seriously anointing people. Thank you, Jesus. And their lives are never the same. Oh, thank you, Father. Father, shake out the enemy in Jesus' name from every hiding place. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. She is going forward. Thank you for removing that in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Every tie, every snare, she's going forward in Jesus' name. Break her through, Father. Every round, Father, in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, let her land at your feet in Jesus' mighty name. What do you sense God is doing, Jen? But it's really hot in here. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Fire on her husband, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Fire on the husband, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Anoint this couple, Father. Anoint this couple, Father, in Jesus' beautiful name. Take every limitation off of his mind. You have given him a mind of creativity, Father. Every limitation off in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for your anointing. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Okay. Oh. I need a fan. It's not going to help. But thank you, Lord. Joy in the morning. Father, let's get Marcus. Marcus, what would you like from the Lord? Um, just the other day, two days ago, I, I had a dream that I had a big wound on my head. 
And um, I asked the Lord what it was, and I felt that um, that I was being attacked through my the headship of me as the head of the home, and there's an attack on our family. Of course, the Lord already removed that when we were praying. Okay, so you have more coming out. The Lord is removing all the disrespect and all the dishonor. Thank you, Jesus. Remove this cap off of Marcus and the men in this meeting. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. The Lord just lit a fire in your heart. Oh, fire in your heart. Thank you, Lord. He's taking the wounds out of your soul. Thank you, Jesus. All disrespect, all dishonor out of men. In Jesus' mighty name. Restore your menship, Father. Restore the heads of your family in Jesus' name. We give you all the glory. Let it spread into their children, into the generations to come, into the neighborhoods, Lord. We are your people. You are our God. This is our right, and we declare it. We claim it for your glory in our sons, in our daughters. We claim it in Jesus' name. In your mighty name, Father. What do you sense God is doing, Marcus? Just, um, yeah, the Lord is just ministering to me. Yes, thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, continue to minister to his heart, Lord. Yes. Download, Father. Yes. Download the ministry that you have for the two of them. Remove all lack, all limitation, everything that says it's impossible from them. Remove it all in Jesus' name. You are God. You are most high. Overtake your people in Jesus' name. We leave you both in the glory of God and thank him for all that he is doing. Hi, good to see you. What would Hi. you like from the Lord? I can give a short testimony. Okay. You prayed for me last time and you said we are getting somewhere. So once you muted me, I coughed a little bit. Because I don't manifest usually, but this was confirmation that it happened. And I feel relief since the last prayer. Amen. So that was anger. Anger and hatred. Those were key. That's, that's just like Moab. He is evil. It's destruction. The Lord said the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. When we find anything trying to kill, steal, and destroy in our life, even our happiness our time with our family, our ability to drive without cussing someone out. Amen? What would you like from the Lord? I feel very shy if I am amongst people I don't know. Mm. Uh, it's difficult for me to, I'm holding back, you know, I always retreat to background. Uh, and I feel on my tummy burning, mm. uh, fear, discomfort. Mm. And it's like a resistance which drains energy out of me and it's difficult to, to go forward, you know, mm -hmm. like to give a testimony, it's difficult for me. So yeah. I'm going to tell you what the Lord is showing me. When you were younger and your surroundings were pretty strict, you would like to express yourself, but it was like people weren't listening to you. Correct. So this taught you to keep everything inside, like nobody's going to listen to me anyway. So anger, all of this negativity just built up within you. And God wants you free. And he loves you dearly. And he's setting you free. And he's going to win. Father, we stand against all fear everywhere from his childhood that mirrored anything to Roman that does not reflect you, Father. We ask you to shatter every illusion. Father, set your son free. Let him know it is safe to feel. Marcus, I don't know why, but I really feel strongly that you're supposed to pray for Roman. Would you mind? Would that be okay, Roman? Okay, why not? Amen. Here you go. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just thank you, God, that you are in control, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We just release, Lord God. You're anointing upon Roman Jesus. Every bit of fear we command you out right now in the name of Jesus. Loose your hold. Set his mind free right now in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for courage and the strength of the almighty God to be upon you and to go forth in the power of the Holy Spirit. We just release, God, your spirit upon Roman God of boldness, Lord. You're anointing Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, there's a strong fire in your belly right now, Father. Jesus, thank you for healing Roman. Yes. More, Lord. Remove what we thought was normal growing up. Restore what the Bible says is normal. 
you, Father, our relationship, our family in you. Free him. Many men were taught that it was not okay to have feelings. And it was a terrible thing from the enemy. We break this off of men right now in Jesus' name. We have the emotions and the feelings of God. And they have to be released. Especially because men are to head the family. Our, our families, the wives, the children, they need to extend. They need to be able to receive these emotions from men. So the enemy is uncovered. He's uncovered. Everywhere men that were taught, it's not okay to have feelings. Just buck up and just go with the flow. And you're not supposed to cry. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Our tears mean emotions to God. Every one of our tears has a different emotion. God catches our tears. Our feelings are important to God. We look forward to all that God is doing in your life. Roman, I'm really excited for you. Thank you for keep coming. And we're not giving up. We want the whole. We're not settling for anything less than all that God has for us. Amen. Okay, thank you, Becky. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, Roman. Thank you, Marcus. I think it's on in the same line, but for my heart about anger, about anger and bitterness of justice is because um, it's causing him not to maintain even his job because of anger. Yeah. I'm done. Father, we release your fire into Jean. Remove all the bitterness that she has experienced as a woman. Remove every unloving spirit that she has received as a woman. Out of her daughters, out of her family, Father, restore the family. Restore the relationship of women in this family. In Jesus' name. What do you sense God is doing, Jean? Yes. No more. Jesus owns this temple. Wow. There's a strong fire. This is happening for your daughters as well. It's not just you receiving this. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, Lord. Thank you for showing us our enemies. Praise God. I can't wait to hear your testimony, sis. Hi, Peggy. Well, I'd like, I'm asking the Lord to help me pray when I pray for others. I want to pray more, you know, from the spirit and not the flesh, like not the obvious thing, the, the heart of the Lord for that person. So and I feel Lord like it's telling me you want a spirit of intercession. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Listen, we can all pray for people. If it's, if it's coming from our flesh, it's going to avail the flesh. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. And what we agree with, we have to be very careful. We can go on social media and people be like, oh, will you pray for this? And we'll be like, yep. Yeah, okay. Well, we don't really know what God's desire is in this matter. God, we always have to turn back to God. Amen. Amen. So praise the Lord for all that he has done in your life, all that he continues to do. And he is training your hands to war. So Father, we Amen. thank you for this deliverance ministry in California. Father, we ask you to release the activation and giftings of intercessory prayer. Prayer comes in many different levels we start out praying from our flesh but god is drawing us in inside to pray from our spirit with the spirit you can get to a place in intercessory prayer when you're praying with the spirit you know for sure those prayers are going to be answered amen this is who we are fire of god into jen for prayer the lord is standing before you with the bible He's placing his word in your heart, Jen. Father, breathe life into her heart in the word. Your way of watching over your people in prayer. Make her a watchwoman on the wall, Father. What the enemy used to destroy her sleep. Use the night seasons to remove the enemy from the people. In Jesus' name. Father, we come against every spirit that thinks it's going to have anything to do with her life. We command deliverance in Jesus' beautiful name. Let it go, Jen. In Jesus' name. Fire, Father, on the inside of her. Thank you, Father. We want to close every ancestral portal in your home, in your temple, in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you for all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Overtake the children as well. My feet are on your spirit realm. Thank you, Father. Get out. Thank you, Lord. All your poisons, all your roots, every plant, every trace of you, get out. She doesn't worship death. She worships the Lord. She is not her ancestors. We don't want the ancestors. We belong to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Did you just feel the peace? The yeah. Peace? Just like a coolness, you know? Thank wow. you, Lord. He can change our life. And what's a second to God? Seriously. Wow. That was amazing. Thank you, Jesus. So, thank you, Jesus. Yep. Stay I'm excited. Safe. You should be. Prayer is an amazing thing. God is going to feed you. Amen. Your life will never be the same again, Jen. Amen. Hello, Pastor Peggy. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Well in Jesus I just want to let you know that you know I have been a lot. I have a lot of disturbance at night, and when I get up, I'm woken up with heaviness in my stomach, and then I feel some pain in the chest. And that has caused, uh, I feel like throwing up and coughing at times. And inside my body, I feel shaky and I feel the spirit. And God has told me that God has shown me certain things that it's probably coming from fornication. You ready? Yes, yes I'm ready. Pa uh, Pastor Peggy, I also have problems in the marriage. That's always uh, arguments and stress. Mm. And I need more, in G more of Jesus in my family. You know, many people, their, their marriages, they're arguing with each other. And when they come for prayer, I see a spirit right in their house, right between them, causing all the arguments. That's why today was family day in Jesus' name. You believe? Yes, I do. Father, we Absolutely. come against every root of every religion in these bloodlines, in Jesus' name. Now, I don't remember. Your husband's Jewish, right? Yes. He's but somewhere Jew. along the line, there's some Hindu roots. In yes, that's coming from my family. Get out, in Jesus' name. Oh, I'm watching this. Leave you. Thank you, Lord. Fire, Father, on every false god ever worshiped every spirit that comes to bring watch over and keep these in our family father i command all demonic activity on the marriage soul type down you guys argue with each other and the enemy likes it because you speak yes. words that hurt each other so you have to repent to each other yes. you have to pay attention to your words when you find these words coming out of your mouth you have to you have to stop and ask god God, is this how I would talk to you? And we're just talking smack. We're doing exactly what the enemy wants. The enemy knows the power that we have. What we speak is real. It's real. We can curse each other. We don't have to go to a school of witchcraft. We can just talk smack. And it sticks to people. It sticks to people. Faith is alive. Sin is alive. So now we repent, we say we're sorry, and we realize there is a time to be silent. There is a time to turn to the Lord for advice. God, this really hurt me. I know it hurt you. How do you want me to handle it? How do you want me to pray for him? I don't want to argue. I want to love. I don't want the enemy gaining any ground in our marriage. Amen? Show me how. And you go out and you try to be nice and you speak nice words, mm -hmm. but you keep praying yes. because, you know, it doesn't mean that he's going to stop arguing, but you're going to keep praying because you're yes. not going to let the enemy gain any ground. And you're going to pray differently. Shut the doors of the enemy, Father, operating in my husband. We're not going to let the enemy yes. attack my husband. I am going to pray for my husband. Yes. My husband is going to be respected yes. and honored. And if this spirit is disrespecting my husband, I'm not putting up with it anymore. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Shields up is your answer, sis. Because when your shields are down, you take everything personal and it affects your gut. 
you carry it like stress. Yeah. Here's my prayer for you. Okay. Jesus, you're the Messiah. I'm not. Take all this junk. These are your people. I can't carry them, Lord. I can't carry them. It's your job to carry them. It's my job to hold your hand as a little girl, a child of faith, and know that you're going to take care of it and keep my shields up high and tight. The shields of God are impenetrable to the arrows, the weapons of the enemy. But we have to remember when the enemy uses our family to come and attack us, shields up, that way we can pray against what's going on in our house. Yes. Amen. You have a testimony or you need prayer? Uh, both. We prayed last time for Lynette and testimony. Her eyes are a lot clearer. They look really clear when you look at her, like she's paying attention. Her eyes look clear. Praise the Lord. Now, last time we prayed for his daughter, you know, she's diagnosed with autism, but we don't believe that testimony. And God had me focus on her eyes because he was focused on her eyes. And then Yuli sent me a picture during the week. And the first thing I noticed was the clarity, the clarity in her face. Praise, Praise God. God. So, Father, we lift up prayer for all children under the diagnosis of autism. There's so many. Father, we ask that you restore their minds, that you take them back from the enemy's grasp, their digestive system, their feelings, their coordination, their ability to listen, to understand. Father, we take back our children's lives from the grasp of the enemy, whether it's spiritual, medical, blood, all. We are taking back our children. Fire of God into Lynette. In Jesus' name. For some reason, the fire is on her ankles. I have no idea why. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Fire is on her ankles. Strengthen her bones, Lord. God is doing something. He's not revealing what to me, but he's doing it. Thank you, Lord. All children. Father, we declare that they will be able to eat normally in Jesus' name. We come against, now I know. We come against the stress that autism causes in families in Jesus' name. For those who care for them, how it affects every member of the family. We ask you to overtake it with fire in Jesus' mighty name. How it runs through the family causing stress and sickness. We overtake it with the blood. All the stress that it causes the men of the family who do not have the answer for their wives. Because God created them to take care of their families. And I run into this so many times. The husband is like, I don't know what to do, Peggy. I don't have the answer. Doctors don't have the answers. I'm praying. I'm supposed to be the man of the family. Do you see how the enemy attacks men? We overtake this. We command all weapons out, all poisons out. In Jesus' name, Father, we close these gates in Jesus' name so that the whole family can be restored and healed by the authority of Jesus Christ, the authority of heaven in Jesus name. And the fire of God is in your belly, Michael. I bet you were going to say you needed prayer for pain, right? Yeah. <laughs> Does it make sense now? Because we can spot our enemy. So we're closing these doors. We're closing these portals. Father, we ask you to anoint Michael. He is the head of his family. He loves you, but he doesn't have the answers. And as a man, he believes he's supposed to have the answer because he wants to take care of his family. Fire on all confusion. Wow, there's such a strong fire here. Father, I'm so happy because Jesus is happy that his men are being prayed for. Amen. Thank you, Father. And his women, Father. Father, overtake this family. Overtake every family that watches this in Jesus' name. Ugh. Yuli, what do you sense is going on? Oh, peace and love. Yeah, praise God. Get used to it. Because we're not going to let the spirit back in our house. We declare healing. It yeah. belongs to us in Jesus' name.
Even little sister over there is feeling the anointing of God. Thank you, Lord. Just let him take it all, sis. Thank you, Jesus. This is friction in the house, and we're supposed to have peace. Overtake it all, Father, in Jesus' name. We give God all the glory for your family. Amen. We are standing in faith with you. Praise God. I command all trauma and pain out of Michael. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare to the ancestors, Michael belongs only to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for removing every hook of the past. We dedicate Michael to you, Jesus, his family to you. There's a serious wrath of God going forth here in the spirit realm. Thank you, Lord. He belongs to Jesus Christ. Your, your heart is being set free in the spirit realm, Michael. Lift up your men, Father, with a new honor, a new respect, a new anointing to overtake the enemy in their families, in Jesus' name. Feeling a little fire, Yuli? Yes, so much. Ah. So hot. Love was not able to flow because of all the oh. friction. When we have a child that is not well, it changes the whole atmosphere of the family. So Father, we thank you that you overtake the atmosphere. It belongs to you. We don't care that the enemy is called the whatever of the prince of the air. We release our king into this family in Jesus' name. Oh, wow. what a difference. Oh, get ready. You're going to feel a cool breeze in your house. Thank you, Jesus. Ugh. Thank you, Lord. We're going to leave you with the Lord. Hi, Hello, sis. Pastor, How are you? Where are you from? I'm from India. Okay. What would you like from the Lord? You have stomach issues? Yes, yes. Believe Jesus will take care of it? Yes. Yeah, Father, we release your fire into your daughter and her family. I just see infirmity all around you. Bind up the winds of sickness in Jesus' name. All the words of sorrow in her family. He's releasing a snare from your neck in Jesus' name. The snare was controlling how you eat, the way you eat. Moab, loose her in Jesus' name. We take down your principalities. We don't agree with you ever again in Jesus' name. We agree with the Lord for healing. <laughs> Thank you, Father. You have a lot of darkness around your heart. Father, overtake her heart and her soul for healing. Father, I command every abusive spirit out in Jesus' name. Every unloving spirit out of her. Heal her broken heart. You have children? One son. Only one son. Thank you, Lord. One child. I'm sorry. Father, we command all of this out of her life in Jesus' name. Thank, Thank you, Father. Lots of stuff Thank being you. removed from you, sister, around you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank everyone pray. Thank you, Jesus. New. New in Jesus' name. Out with the old. Fire on the old, Father. Okay, this is loosening from your mind right now. Thank you, Lord. You know, many people are not free, even in their own homes, to pray. Father, we thank you for freedom. We thank you for protection. We thank you that your light enters this house, in Jesus' name, into the stomachs of the son and the mother, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, this is leaving your lungs. Thank you, Jesus. Heaviness out. You have something coming up from your belly as well. Out, darkness, in Jesus' name. Oof. Thank you, Lord. Fire on her hands, Father. Fire on her hands. Anoint this woman for healing in Jesus' name. You feel something moving around in your belly, RG? Not really. Yeah. Thank you, Father. It's coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm seeing light going through your digestive system. You have some weapons leaving your body. Thank you, Lord. You've been wounded a lot. The Lord is taking care of you. Thank you, Father. He's healing you. Father, let your mercy Go forth in Jesus' name and your grace in power for her and her son in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for coming. What do you sense God is doing, R.G.? Bring peace in my heart. My Amen. Amen. Yep, we're here for you, sis. You can text me anytime you want. Okay. Feel, you're going to feel some warmth. The Lord is taking care of some business there for you. And you have an angel in your house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you do need it. Thank you, Lord. He's there. 
Thank you, Lord. God's got you. You reached out in the darkness. God is honoring your faith, sister. Amen. Okay. Let me know how you're doing in a couple of days, okay? God bless you, sis. Thank you so much for coming. Give God all the glory. Amen. God bless I'm just need you. You what? Good sleep. I'm not getting good sleep. Yeah. Let's I'm everyone so pray many. for her. Let's everyone pray for her. Father, we lift our hands to our sister. We agree with you for peace that has just entered her. Take this great burden off of this woman and her child. Bring peace and fire and your wrath into this house. Father, anoint her to trust you. Join your strength to hers. Let her rest in your arms, knowing she is safe. You are protecting her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lonnie, how are you? A lot of times or whatnot, I, I try not to ask too much from, from God because I'm already... Stop doing that. <laughs> I know symptoms from uh, treatment and uh, and I started praying and my stomach was upset it went away and I you know I had go through keep I know it's just like why didn't I do that before <laughs> just like me oh you mean the shields up thing really works <laughs> we're his kids Lonnie I, I still catch myself a doing that I, I still try to grin and bear stuff or whatnot when I don't have to when you were saying about uh things about guys and the way we're trained you know it's exactly right it's but it's like, exactly wrong it's exactly wrong I needed to tell you that for the most part you know for somebody that's had a brain tumor everything is going so good right now so I uh, God has more for you you ready sure praise God God always has more for you Yes. You see, normal for many people, there's not more. You got what people offered you. You thought that was it. And it became normal. So we don't ask for more. But God, our Father, keeps telling us over and over as we read our word, I have more for you. Come deeper. I have so much more for you. Don't ever stop asking. You know, the word says we should train up a child in the way they should go. Well, I trained my son to ask huge. I mean, when he would write out his Christmas list, it would be four or five pages long on both sides. And I was like, God, he was like, you trained him to ask big of me. You know, if he only got three things, he was happy, but he knew how to ask. Amen. 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 We need to ask. And even for us who do ask, we have to ask more. We have to ask bigger. That's why God put in the Bible about the woman with the unjust judge. This was a, this was a corrupt politician, but this woman was going to come and bother this judge every day. To God, it's not a bother, but this story is there for a reason. He wants us to keep coming. So in the corrupt world, this woman kept asking. Finally, the corrupt politician said, well, I'm going to give her what she wants because if I don't, this woman is never going to leave me alone. Amen? That's the yeah. Muslim side. But the Israel side, I'm your father. If you don't ask, you don't get. So picture God sitting on the throne and here comes young Lonnie. God, 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 I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. And God <laughs> is looking at young Lonnie saying, oh, my son trusts me. He believes. He believes on his father. The father wants to set you free, Lonnie. Father, we release into Lonnie total freedom from every lack, from everything that he was taught is normal, that he will trust God. We bind his ability to trust to the trust of the father. We join your faith, father, with your sons, that you have given him the vision as a young Lonnie before the great God who absolutely unconditionally loves him has everything for him ask and remember if you don't ask i can't give it to you you know god god taught me to teach my son if i gave my son a present and he looked at the box and said oh, wow you wrapped this really nice mom and just put it aside he was never going to know what God had for him or what I had for him in that present. And many times he could open it, but if he didn't open the box, he still didn't know the depths of what was inside. And if he opened it 
And if it was like a watch or something like that, if he just threw it to the side and never wore it, he would never understand the fullness of the gift. The word of God is a gift to us. So the old normal is being burnt up inside of you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, replant normal heaven in your son. And you're going to experience so much new joy in the Lord, Lonnie. That's what the Lord is showing me. We give God all the glory for you. Amen. 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 Can't wait to see you next time. All right. All right. God bless you. Father, we want to give you all the glory. We thank you for your time together. We thank you that you have put a family together. In you, we live. We move. We have our being. We know that if we have a hard week, that you're here for us. We know that we're coming for prayer. We know that we can text. We know that you are with us. We are agreeing with you, Lord. We all have testimonies from what you're doing. And let our testimonies go forth from this week, Father, as we continue to lift up the men, the women, and the children, the family of God before you. And we give you all the glory. In Jesus' beautiful name. Amen. JesusTodayMinistries.org. We are here to minister and to pray with you right in the comfort of your own home or your office. If you are seeking counseling, healing, deliverance, financial breakthrough, if you feel that there is a block or you're experiencing hindrance in your blessings, please know that God cares about you and all that concerns you. Hi, my name is Peggy Golden. I am a pastor and I have a master's in Christian counseling. God has made a way for people all over the world to receive counsel, healing, and deliverance through the use of technology right in your own homes. God heals, saves, and delivers his people every hour of the day. There is no distance for God. If you do not know God, if you are seeking him, or if you have found yourself in a situation that you need help getting out of, please know nothing is too hard for God. Please visit my website at JesusTodayMinistries.org. You can get to know more about me there. And please remember to read the testimonials of what others have experienced by contacting this ministry. There is no fee, but you are able to make a donation. For those who are in the States as well as international clients, we can use voice or video chat on Skype, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or Viber. I look forward to praying with you and all that God will do.